Hello, thanks for tuning in to another episode of Walls and Wall Inks. Today's shot, I'm going to talk about tapering lines. Tapering lines is where I use a brush and I'll ink little triangles. I'll go from really thin lines into thick lines and it gives a little gradation from a dark to middle light to a light. It'll go dark to a middle ground and then to a light tip, uh, tapering lines. So this is for a splash page from X-Men Blue, number nine. And without further ado, just eat these fishes, they're tapering. So dip the brush into the bottle of ink, look for an area that's uh, black, and then start trolling your brush there to give it a nice tip. And then here we start uh, tapering lines. Now when I taper, I can certainly use a micron or a quill or a brush, not to mention tech pins, but those will take a little bit longer. I prefer using a brush to do the tapering lines, mainly because the brush, I, the brush, every tool gives you uh, certain advantages. You can use any tool to create the same effect, but one tool is more effective than another. With a brush, I can get that nice smooth taper line. So without making the belt, when you're tapering, make sure the spacing between the taper lines are equal. That's very important. You want to ink those lines as if a uh, printer were printing it out or a machine printing that printed it out. If your taper lines are off, like one line is thicker, one line is longer, a line is wobbly in between, it's very noticeable in the final artwork. If you're consistent with the taper lines, it won't be as jarring. Now here I'm making a Cyclops chest. Notice those taper lines are much thicker and wider. And then when I move on to a, the shadow here, those lines are longer and thinner. When you're tapering lines, you have to think about uh, where those lines are in the shadows. Also think about the contour of the taper lines, the direction and how much light you want that area to be. So let's continue on with more tapering lines. Here I'm doing, it's like a hatch line, but there's a little bit of taper when I was doing the Cyclops uh, wrist guards. More longer tapered lines. Right here, keep in mind, look, look at the spacing of that. Make sure there's spacing with the end. When you're tapering, you want those tips to end in a nice uniform pattern. You don't want one of the, the tips to be longer and the other tip to be shorter. Here's some cross tapering going on. Okay. Now, as I'm going into the dark area, those taper lines will, will go from a thin taper line to a thicker taper line. So right there, I added a double line. Double line just to give it more of a, a 3D effect. So more taper lines. Did you know, right there, I started from thin lines to a thicker line, and then I turned the paper around, and then I started cross tapering. It's the same as a cross hatching, but you're also concentrating on how much pressure applying, how much pressure you're applying to the brush. Making some lines, tapering some of those thin lines. Okay. So the shoe area, notice how long taper those lines are. So here's some cross tapering. Starts from a thin line to a thick line, and then turn the page, and I'll cross hatch, cross taper into that. So on this page, what I'm doing is I'm looking for everywhere in the art that has some form of tapering line. Now I do this because I'm I'm in a zone where I'm looking for anything that's tapered and I'm concentrating on tapering. Sometimes when you're when you're inking or when you're drawing, you're drawing the arms and then tapering the arms. And then if you have to go back and start drawing the fingers, the concentration will be different. But if you're tapering, you're just totally concentrating on tapering and then those lines the art will just looks more, it'll look more uniform and even. Tempering lines, see the wristbands over there, I'll add a line there and I'll hatch in those lines. Hatch tape, I call those hatch tapering, where when I'm going towards the buckle area, it's a little bit thicker. 
every line should have some sort of a line width. Even when you're tapering, there should be some kind of line width going on. Don't just have a line that goes into a blunt area. That's just like really drying. So right here, that's long, narrow taper lines. Again, make sure those tips starts in a uniform area and the end of the tips will end in a uniform area. Some of the beast uh, collar area. Now some artists, they can taper without spinning the page. I prefer spinning the page because it's easier for my hands. Here's some of uh, Angel's collar area. Look how I taper some of those lines. Here's Wolverine. Okay, as you notice when I'm tapering, I'll ink in the form of where the taper lines are. So for example, like earlier on the collar area, I'll ink that line before I start tapering. Okay, just is just the reason for that is because I can see where I need to stop those lines. Now here I'm making the uh, the cloak. These are a little bit tricky. You're you're inking long tapered lines. These lines you need to concentrate on your hand and be consistent. You're gonna start with a very thin line and then glide your hand across and then end it with a really thicker tapered line. This takes some practice. Some artists they'll wear a glove like uh, ink, ink like Wacom digital inking glove underneath their hand but if you practice enough uh, you, don't, you don't really need to use a, a glove you can certainly give it a try but if you practice enough if you're if you have sweaty hands then you may want to use a glove but if you don't no, no need for that uh that glove to wear okay here's cyclops you know so all the taper area is done you zoom back and look you can pause the video look at how some of these lines are done and this took me pretty much a good hour in real time i this video is, was speed up quickly just so you can see how to do this line look at how thin those lines are look how long and narrow those lines compare one taper area to another area you see how each each area is different when you're tapering, you don't want every line to look exactly the same. Have some variation in your art. The more variation you can create, the better your art will be. Thanks for tuning in to another episode of One All Inks and how I taper lines. Again, the way I taper lines is I'll use a brush. I'll go from thin to thick into the black. And then that's how I get like a light area to a middle gradation into a dark area. And the little turtle. Until the next video, be good.